Barry Gertler Hartov, Shalom. Hi, Yoni. You're an Israeli mortgage broker. And today, first of all, I wanted to talk with you about the interest rates in Israel that have again gone up. What is the, the meaning? Why is this happening? And how is this affecting the households around Israel? So in Israel, same as everywhere in the world, same as the United States, the central bank, Bank of Israel, is trying to fight inflation. They do that by raising the market interest rate and this directly affects the mortgage rates. Today, the average mortgage rate, or until a few days ago, was about five, and now we're gonna see numbers that are closer to, on average, 5.3, 5.5. So we're definitely seeing an increase in mortgage rates in Israel. And that affects the households, that affects people who have bought uh, apartments and homes. Yes, because most of the mortgages in Israel have a significant component of variable rates. It is very uncommon in Israel to get mortgages that are fully fixed, very rare. So pretty much every mortgage in Israel is affected by this increase of rates, even though part of mortgage in Israel, mortgages are divided to sections. So the section that is fixed is unaffected, but an average Israeli household that has a million shekel mortgage, which is the average mortgage, can expect an increase of about 100 shekels in their next monthly payment, which is so all together. We're talking about families who are paying what more a thousand shekels more a month. Now? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. So where is this going? Are we going to see more and more? Or is there some sort of optimistic hope soon? Well, my crystal ball is broken, but the in the announcement of the increase of rates, Bank of Israel planted a few sentences that make us think that though this is not the last increase, the next one would probably be the last increase of this current cycle, or at least so we can hope. And I understand that from here, from Israel, we're looking at the United States and saying the method is working there? Yes, yes. The, definitely the increase in market rates in America started to slow down to curve the inflation. Um, the effect is much stronger in America. Also, the increase in interest rates in America was more significant and the inflation was higher. In Israel, we're also starting to see an effect, a slowing down of the inflation, though at a slower pace than America. Now, as a person who is involved in real estate, as a uh, mortgage broker, you were in the United States, also part of the big real estate show, and you came back with insights, with a few thoughts about where we're going in terms of the American public being interested maybe in homes and real estate in Israel. Yeah, we traveled, I think, six or seven different communities, uh, New York, New Jersey, Florida, and we've seen, my partner and I, we've seen the commitment to Israel is unwavering. Mm -hmm. The desire to plant roots in Israel hasn't changed. The affordability of buying real estate in Israel for Americans is becoming more and more of a challenge. I've encountered doctors in Florida earning $200,000, $250,000 a year who told me that they cannot afford buying real estate in Israel at this stage. This is something Mainly that, because of the prices in Israel? Mainly because of the prices. Also the increase in mortgage rates. The combination of these two makes it more challenging than ever before for established American Jews with commitment, with desire, with uh, um, self um, identifying as Israel as being their second home mm -hmm. who are unable to buy, or even if they are able to buy, they realize that for, what, for the same amount of money in America, they can get something so much smaller, so much less developed, that they say the numbers don't add up anymore. Wow. Now, in terms of investment calculations, is it also seen that the prices are so high that how much higher can it get? Well, this is probably the question. Pretty much every real estate expert in Israel assumes that in the medium and long term, we will see an even another increase in market prices for real estate because we have a lot of babies here in Israel. In the short term, the spike in mortgage rates might cause a small decrease in market rates in prices of property. So I have seen, in addition to those who are priced out or who just are, can't get something decent for themselves in Israel, I've seen others who can buy but prefer to wait mm -hmm. and see what happens with the market over the next year. All this is to say, 
we're not talking about a complete standstill of Americans, American Jews buying in Israel, just a larger number of people, a larger percentage of people who have interest in buying who don't do so. But still, we've seen dozens of deals since we came mm -hmm. back from the tour. Well, okay, so Barry Gurtler Hartov, it's always very, very interesting to hear from you. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you, Yoni.